To set up attendance, navigate to the Attendance module and then click on Attendance Setup. You'll be presented with a page of sections that you need to work through one by one. As with all central modules, what you see here is also reflected in this menu on the side. Let's start with General Settings. There's a fair bit to work through here, but it's actually quite straightforward. Some of these settings may require discussion with your school executive to ensure that your school's policies are properly reflected. We'll take a look at just a few of them. Most of them are quite simple. Things like the analysis target. It's a simple number that you'd like all students to be able to achieve in terms of their attendance record, and it's the number used on analysis charts. Or the attendance officer and their contact number. Again, a straightforward entry. Some settings require you to select from drop-down options. For example, absences can be automatically declared as unjustified according to these settings. In this case, all declared absences will be set to unjustified after 14 calendar days if no other reason is given. This can be altered as necessary. With disabled role classes, you can specify which role classes shouldn't be used in attendance setup if that's relevant to your situation. Similar choices appear for enable role submissions. Simply choose which classes should be excluded. If you are using PXP with attendance, you'd check this button to disable all role submissions. Towards the lower section, choices are largely toggle type selections, allowing you to make simple choices about what you'd like to see appearing on the role. Many of these settings may work for you with their default selections. However, as I mentioned, some will require further discussion. When you've finished making selections, don't forget to click Save. 